I had a wash day today, so this is why my hair is looking like this, but it's kind of cute, right? So hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. I'm Glees, and this is the second episode of me recreating a celebrity or influencer's nail design. In this episode, I'm going to recreate Nikki Tutorial's nail design. I'm going to put a photo in the screen right now so you can see how her nail design was. If you didn't see my first episode yet, I will put the link in the description box below. So if you want to see how I'm going to recreate this set, you guys keep on watching. So you guys, this was a refill and I've already got the old acrylic off. On the index, I've applied a new nail tip because the nails, it's like the nails know when they're going to get a refill because the nail broke one day prior, she had to come. So yes, it's because of quarantine, she was like, she had the nails for like six or seven weeks. And as always, I'm applying two coats of my super bond and a thin layer of clear acrylic. But this time I'm going to apply it thin at the nail bed but on the end of the nail so at the tip I'm going to apply it a little bit more thicker because we are going to make these nails clear and it is a refill so you will see like old uh, acrylic underneath and I don't want that so I'm going to apply uh, a thicker layer at the end uh, so at the tip of the nail so when I'm done uh, so when I'm done applying the acrylic and when I'm filing I can just file the acrylic underneath the old acrylic underneath to make the nails clear i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain to you guys but just look at the footage and you will see what i mean with what i'm explaining <laughs> and i'm repeating this step on all the nails except from the index finger because on the index finger i've already applied a new nail tip So to recreate Nikki's nails, I'm using these holographic flames. I couldn't find the iridescent ones that she had. I think she had iridescent ones. Iridescent ones. <laughs> uh, I will show you a picture of her nails so you can see. Um, but I couldn't find those ones, so I could find these holographic ones, and I love holographic. So I've just decided to use these ones, and I'm just measuring them and to see if they. Uh, fit properly and if they don't I'm just cutting them off as you can see um, to make them fit properly on the length of the nail you guys this is how pretty these nails look so far <laughs> next I'm going to encapsulate these flames with clear acrylic I'm going to do that on all the 10 nails
So this is how the nails look so far and next I'm using my medium grid to file the nails. I'm not speeding this first part up so you can see exactly what I've done um, and how I've got rid of the excess uh, acrylic underneath to make, the to make these nails clear. Um, I'm filing underneath the nails, you have to make sure you don't file your client's finger. But as you can see I'm filing underneath the nail and getting the excess acrylic off. So that's why we have uh, built like a layer of clear acrylic before applying the flame so we could file the old off and to get to the layer of acrylic that I've applied earlier. And then I'm going, just going to shape the nail and make it smooth. And yeah you guys, just look at the footage so you know exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And as always, I'm using my tapered bit so I can get into the cuticle area. So this is a step that I always do when I'm doing a refill. I clean the nails underneath with a thinner pointy nail bit. Um, I always do this because I like the nails to be clean underneath also. I don't like clean nails and sharp nails and underneath they look like... I don't want to say that word. So <laughs> yeah, so I like to clean the nails always underneath to make everything look clean and it's a important step so you can get rid of all the excess pieces uh, to achieve this clear look. Okay you guys, so next I'm using my hand file to perfect the shape. And you guys, if you want to see a video on how I do a refill from start to finish, just comment refill in the description box below and I will make a video for you guys. Okay, so next I'm using the clear rubber gel from the gel bottle. I will link it in the description box below. And I like to use this to apply my stones because it's also a top coat. And so you don't have to worry about applying your uh, crystals first 
and after that applying your top coat around the crystals so I really like it um, I apply it on the whole entire nail and where I'm going to apply the crystals I just put a little extra of the gel and then apply my uh, crystals and after that I'm flash curing it before I go to the next nail um, and if, as you can see I al always like to swipe my fingers uh, on the sides of the nail because uh, the gel is thick and it can misform the shape of the nail. And because the nails are clear, I always like to use just regular gel top coat underneath the nails. So I've cured the nails again under the lamp and I've applied some cuticle oil. And this is the final result you guys I am so in love with these nails I think I did a pretty good job in recreating Nikki's nail design I really love her nails I always love her nails her nail tech is just wow the, her nail tech just does some nail design I just love her work I really love her work and I think I did a pretty good job in recreating Nikki's nails so you guys let me know what you think, uh, how I did on recreating these nails. <laughs> so yeah you guys, this is the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell. So you are the first one to know when I post a video the next time. So yeah you guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.